in this video tutorial i am going to design this cylinder gasket for the engine design project so first of all you needed to verify your units if the units are not selected in inches make sure the units are in inches so our selection is inches already status bar you can see ips selected so go to sketch start this sketch and for this sketching plane I'm going to select this front plane and now go to rectangular and select center rectangle so just start your sketch from this origin this will be the center of rectangular and click OK to deactivate the rectangular command and then go to smart dimension tool and select this dimension this dimension is 4 this dimension is 5.5 .5. and then again draw one more rectangular center rectangular right and the dimension of uh, this rectangular is also given so this one is 2.818 And this one is given as 3.785 then click on exit sketch now we have this sketch and we just wanted to extrude this portion of the sketch so click on extrude and select this line just select this line after selecting this line you can see under the boss extrude properties at the bottom you will see the selected contours so like if we want to extrude this now it is extruding just the outside rectangular so i i will click on here and clear my selection and you can see you now the it's just extruding that uh, that that sketch so go to selected contour select here and i just wanted to uh, select the inner portion of that sketch when you move your uh, mouse here it will also give you the preview the color will be changed so i just select here and make sure this portion of my sketch is extruded and for this depth it's 0 0.020 and just the inner portion of the sketch will be extruded and like if you select the selected contours and select here and you mouse move your mouse into the inner portion if you select this then this whole sketch the outer rectangular will be extruded so I just wanted this sketch and now it's extruded Now I am going to add fillet. We can also add the fillet in this sketch, or we can add the fillet after this sketch. So the fillet diameter is given 5. I am going to select 0.5, not 5, 0.5, and select all the. I am going to select it and zoom it, zoom out by clicking the by rotating the mouse middle mouse button wheel and select here then press the middle mouse button and rotate it just make sure you have good practice with the uh, mouse buttons how you can zoom it how you can rotate it how you can pan it and go to isometric view so this sharp corner will be printed again go to fillet and now I am going to select the inner corner and for the inner corner it's 0 0.25 and go here item to fillet and select this one as you can see I am just simply zooming in and zooming out and rotating it by pressing the middle mouse button you can rotate and by 
moving the middle wheel you can zoom in and zoom out so these four corners are selected click ok and fillet is added now we needed to add some holes at the on this face so I am going to click on uh, hollow wizard and I am going to select this one hole just a simple hole and and see inches okay all drill size okay sizes I just want to make sure I selected the show decimal values show custom sizes I am going to select custom sizes I am not going to select the whole specification from this size type I just click on the custom sizing so I can put the whole size so whole size is 0.4 its diameter and you can see here it's selecting the diameter and end condition through I I also needed the through for end condition and go to position and when this message appears select this face and make it normal so it must be in front of you and to add these holes I am going to move your mouse to this corner this uh, little fillet we added and it just an arc move your pencil to this arc and it will show the center of this arc and add one then again move your mouse the little pencil is here just move it on the uh, arc edge and select the center because basically we wanted to center these holes with that arc center so they must be concentric we needed four four is added click ok and as you see this is added and now i am going to make our last feature for the last feature i am going to open the sketch on this front face and make it normal and then go here and select the circle and from the origin start your circle and place it here and the diameter of this circle is given as 3.15 just select the dimension and this is 3.150 and click exit sketch and we just click on extruded cut and through make sure the selection is correct and click ok now our gasket is done we are all good save it and you can also add the material I am going to add material and under V not here basically we added to add the return the rubber you will see this button apply it close model is done thank you so much please subscribe my channel and you can also request for a, a tutorial if you have a the drawing you can send me i will make the tutorial and i will post that on youtube okay thank you so much